Hi everyone, today we're going to study trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Let this triangle ABC be an equilateral triangle. Since each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees, therefore, this angle A is equal to angle B and is equal to angle C, all of them equal 60 degrees. So we can write the angle B to be 60 degrees. Now, let us draw the height of this triangle with this AD. In this case, we are going to divide the angle A into two. Here is 30 degrees, the other 30 degrees on the other side. Now, we let the side AB and BC and side AC be equal to 2A. In that case, the side BD equals A. Now look at the triangle ADB. By Pythagoras' theorem, we can write the square of 2A, that is the hypotenuse, equals a squared plus the side AD that is squared. The left side is 4A squared equals A squared plus the square of AD. This A squared we transpose to the left. And the difference of the left side is 3A squared equals the square of AD. In here we will take the square root. So AD equals the square root of 3, a square. And this is simplified into a square root of 3. This is the height of the triangle. Now let us write the trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees. Let's begin with sine 30 degrees. We know that sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Looking at the figure, the 30 degrees is here. So we write the values. The opposite is A over 2A, which is the hypotenuse. We can simplify this as by canceling A. So it becomes 1 over 2. Next, cosine 30 degrees. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. In the figure, we get the values as adjacent is A square root of 3 over hypotenuse is 2a. We can cancel the a and this is simplified into square root of 3 over 2. Next, tangent 30 degrees. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. In the figure, opposite is a over adjacent that is a square root of 3. When we cancel the a, we have 1 over square root of 3. Now let's go to secant 30 degrees. We know that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine 30 degrees is this value, square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, for secant 30 degrees, we take the reciprocal, and that is 2 over square root of 3. Next is cosecant 30 degrees. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. The sine 30 degrees is 1 half. Therefore, the cosecant 30 degrees is 2. Now let's have cotangent 30 degrees. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Tangent 30 degrees is 1 over square root of 3. Therefore, the cotangent 30 degrees is square root of 3. Now let's have the trigonometric ratios of 60 degrees. Let's begin with sine 60 degrees. In our figure, the 60 degrees is here. So for sine 60 degrees, that is a square root of 3 over 2a. When we simplify by canceling the a, we have square root of 3 over 2. Next, cosine 60 degrees. 
this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we write A over 2A. That we simplify as 1 over 2. Next is tangent 60 degrees. Opposite over adjacent. So that will be A square root of 3 all over A. We cancel the A. It becomes square root of 3. Next is secant 60 degrees. We will take the reciprocal of cosine 60 degrees. And that value is now 2. For cosecant 60 degrees, we will take the value of the reciprocal of sine 60 degrees. So we have here 2 over square root of 3. For cotangent 60 degrees, we will take the reciprocal of tangent 60 degrees. So the value now is 1 over square root of 3. These are the values for trigonometric ratios of 60 degrees. Now take note that sine 30 degrees is equal to cosine 60 degrees. Also, cosine 30 degrees is equal to sine 60 degrees. Example 1. In triangle ABC below, right angled at B. Determine the lengths of the sides BC and AC. This is our figure. Let's begin by solving the side BC. Given here is the angle 30 degrees. Side AB is 5 cm. This side is the opposite of the angle C. We want to look for the side BC. BC here is the adjacent side of the angle 30 degrees. Let us relate the opposite and the adjacent sides with respect to the given angle 30 degrees. So we write tangent 30 degrees equals 5 over the side BC. The tangent 30 degrees is equal to 1 over square root of 3. Then we cross multiply to get the value of BC. So that will be BC equals 5 square root of 3. The unit of measurement is centimeter. Now let us solve for the side AC. The side AC here is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So let us relate the opposite side with regard to the hypotenuse with respect to the given angle 30 degrees. So we write sine 30 degrees equals 5 over AC. The sine 30 degrees is 1 half. Let us cross multiply to get the value of AC. That will be AC equals 10. The unit of measurement we will write centimeter. Example 2. In triangle PQR, right angled at Q. Determine angle P and angle R. We can see here that the side PQ is 3 cm and the hypotenuse is 6 cm. Let us solve for angle P. The angle P is here. Let us relate the angle P with regard to the given sides. The sides are the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we write cosine P equals 3 over 6, where we simplify as 1 half. We know that cosine 60 degrees equals 1 half, and cosine P equals 1 half. Therefore, P equals 60 degrees. We have now the value of the angle P. Now, let us find the angle R. Angle P and angle R are complementary angles, meaning the sum is 90 degrees. Since P equals 60 degrees, we can have the value of R equals 30 degrees.
Example 3. If sine of the angles A minus B equals 1 half, the cosine of the angles A plus B equals 1 half. The A plus B is more than 0 degree, but less than or equal to 90 degrees. Given also that A is more than B, find A and B. We know that sine 30 degrees equals 1 half. Given here is sine of the angles A minus B equals 1 half. Therefore, the sine A minus B equals sine 30 degrees. We can simplify this further as A minus B equals 30 degrees. Let this be equation 1. Also, we know that cosine 60 degrees equals one half. In the given, we say the cosine a plus b equals one half also. Therefore, the cosine a plus b equals the cosine 60 degrees. Then we can simplify this as a plus b equals 60 degrees. Let us be equation 2. Now let us put together the two equations and let us solve for the a and b respectively. Let us add the equations. When we do that, the b variable will be cancelled out. So a plus a will be 2a equals 30 plus 60 equals 90 degrees. We can divide this equation by 2 to get the value of a. So a equals 45 degrees. We have now this value of a. Let's go for the value of b. From equation 1, we can write, and substitute the value of A. So it becomes 45 degrees minus B equals 30 degrees. This negative B we can transpose to the right and this 30 degrees we transpose to the left. So we have now like this. On the left side, the difference is 15 degrees. So we can write B equals 15 degrees. This is now the value of angle B.